Hello out there, and I'm sorry for the delay in actually recording this video. It's been actually a weird week for me. I uh, suffered from a few migraines during the last week, so it's been kind of tough to actually get down and record and focus on listening to music when your head feels like it's going to explode. But anyway, here we are, 1973, maybe in my opinion one of the greatest years ever for music. You had Dark Side of the Moon by Pink Floyd, you had Selling England by the Pound by Genesis, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road by Elton John, uh, Band on the Run by McCartney. You also had uh, albums such as uh, Aerosmith's debut, you had uh, Tubular Bells I believe was this year, also Goathead Soup by the Stones. Just a fantastic year for music. And Uriah Heep released Sweet Freedom. Now, I, from what I heard in documentary, they called it Sweet Freedom because they dropped their label in the U.S. They got out of Mercury. So now they're at Warner Brothers. Which, for good or bad, it worked. I, I think initially it worked out very well for the band. Now, some would say maybe not in the long run, but I think initially it worked out very well. Uh, also, in between... Magician's Birthday and this album. They also released, in my opinion, the greatest live album ever recorded, Uriah Heep Live, 73, in January. Just a great, but that's very short after Magician's Birthday. But I think what that album did was it actually helped capture them in a live setting, and it worked very well for them. Now, Sweet Freedom, I think, is maybe an album where you have two camps. You're either in one or two camps. You have uh, the people that really love this album, and, and I think the people that kind of aren't necessarily big on the album. But uh, I'm in the camp where I actually really enjoyed this album, but let's get on with it. Features David Byron on vocals, Mick Box on guitar, Ken Hensley on keyboards, guitars, backing vocals, Gary Thane on bass, and Lee Kearslake on drums. Now this album, wow. Starts off with Dreamer. Has a nice kind of slidey opening to it. Love the singing style. Uh, mixed with some of the background vocals. Or like this, yeah, mixed with the background vocals. Love Box's attacking style guitar playing. I love the bass lines. I uh, like how the song fades with Dreamer. As the song's fading, it's like Byron singing louder and louder and louder, and I really enjoy that. Song number two on the album is a constant staple for Uriah Heep, maybe one of their biggest hits ever, and it is one of my top ten Uriah Heep songs of all time, Stealing. To anyone who is a Heat fan, knows the song, anyone who might be watching this who has never really heard this album before, go listen to it. It's a fantastic track. I love it. It starts off with this very infectious Gary Thane bass line that he's pretty much known for for Uriah Heat for having great bass lines throughout his entire career. Uh, followed with a soft keyboard, and then it follows in with the... Ooh, ooh, ah type stuff. It worked very well. And I like the vocals over it of Take me to the water Cause I'm a need of some place to hide I done the rancher's daughter And Lord I think that I heard his pride I love that line throughout that entire song. That Just that verse is great. I like how the vocals are over top of the bass. I like the ooh ah part. Uh, I love how the band enters when he's doing his fighting, killing, whining women, gonna put me to my grave. Running, hiding, losing, crying, nothing left to save but my life. And after he says life, the band enters in just a really heavy, infectious sound. I love it a lot. Uh, it builds after the course into sort of this dual guitar solo at parts. But I like how the Uanaz are as Byron singing at the end. You can really distinguish it. Sounds great. On to song number three, One Day. I like sort of the operatic opening. I love the bass and drums in unison at times. Uh, great Byron vocals. Love Box's guitar underneath. And I love the staccato uh, vocals near the end. It sounds pretty good. Song number four, another one of my favorites from this album, is sort of the epic uh, song of the album. has a sweet freedom. has a slow organ intro, almost a July morning circle of hand-esque 
song, and I really enjoy it because it sounds great. I kind of feel like that's what was missing off Magician's Birthday. Once I heard this, it kind of clicked. Oh, yeah, that was kind of missing from the album. But uh, I like the building bass and drums and, and guitar. Uh, I love Byron's vocals. I love the lyrics to the song. I like the nice vocal harmony chorus of sweet, sweet freedom type stuff. Uh, love Hensley's keys throughout this entire song. It's just great. Uh, song is constantly building. It sounds very booming at times. With also a very good underneath uh, guitar work from Mick Box. I think Mick Box is very underrated for his guitar work of just being subtle and underneath stuff. Uh, and I love the sweet freedom ending, how they just keep saying sweet, sweet freedom type stuff. Uh, song number five, If I Had the Time, at a very eerie opening, then followed by some very soft keyboard work from Ken Hensley. Uh, it almost at times sounds like it's a uh, soaring sound with booming bass. I love the vocal doubling at the ends with Byron. Uh, I love uh, the songs, the drumming in the song at times is very heavy. Uh, love guitar, twin guitar sounding parts. Anytime you hear Ken Hensley and Mick Box sort of like a dual guitar sound, it sounds fantastic. Uh, song number six, this is where people say the filler starts. Or might even say one day it was kind of filler, but this is where some people say it starts, seven stars. Weird sounding intro followed by an acoustic and electric driving song with heavy bass. Uh, I love Byron's vocals in it. I think this is one of Byron's better sung albums for Uriah Heap all the way through. I love the haunting Oz followed by an organ solo. It almost gets sounding kind of pop rocky at times, sort of like they're filling out their sound with other styles. And it actually, I enjoy it for the most part. Uh, it gets heavy sounding at parts. Lyrics get weird, sort of reciting the alphabet at the end. It kind of, eh. Did you really need to do that? Maybe not, but oh well. On to song number seven, which is maybe, in my opinion, one of the shortest songs Uriah did to this point. Uh, Circus, it's a fully acoustic song with, uh, I love the harmonics in it. You can hear it on the guitar that there is some harmonics there. One strumming, one's doing harmonics. Uh, I love like the drumming. I like the vocal delivery. Love the lyrics and just the subtle bass. Gary Thane could be very subtle at times, which worked perfectly for the band. He knew when to pull it back. Song number eight, the final song on the album, Pilgrim. I love the organ and bass opening. I love the Oz. I love the wah-like riff, like Mickbox is strumming, but he's also using wah at the same time. It just sounds fantastic, especially with Mick doing it. I like the fantasy-esque lyrics is something that kind of is like, hmm, but I grew to like it the more I heard it. I like the slow down and the quickly getting heavy followed by a Mickbox solo. I love the lyrics. They sound very personal. This is one thing I'll say about the album. The album sounds very personal. And it works very well. And it's just a fantastic thing to listen to. Now, reception to the album and the charts. UK it went 18th, Denmark 14th, Australia 33rd. In Canada, number 5, their highest rated album ever here. Uh, Germany 12th, Austria 9th, Norway they went number 2. Uh, U.S. they went 33rd, and Finland they went, ended their streak of number one albums, they went two. Uh, this is a fantastic album. I have to say from start to finish, it is fantastic to listen to. Now, I can see where people get the point of their kind of being filler on this, but I think even your Rye Heap's filler is fantastic. But, uh, yeah... Compared to later filler we'll get to. Um, what would I give this album out of five? Oh my god. Uh, I really enjoy this album. I'd actually give this album... I'll continue the streak. Five out of five. Fantastic album to listen to. I highly recommend it. You don't want to buy it. But this is me here once again. Be sure to like, comment, favorite, subscribe. Uh, I'm not sure when I'll get my next one up. I'm trying here for maybe either tonight or tomorrow. 
But this is me here once again. Peace.